going to talk about South Granville's baby pantry, and our baby pantry has existed probably for eight to ten years. Um, I have been co-director with Sharon, and we have been doing this probably four to six years. Um, our diaper consumption, or handing out, giving, uh, <laughs> I suppose it's consumer goods, but uh, we will hand out over 4,000 diapers a month. Uh, our church supports this pantry very, very well. Uh, we keep expanding as to what the needs of the moms are. Uh, we have a lot of donated clothes because they come from people who have leftovers from garage sales. Uh, even when we put it in the bulletin that we're in need of winter um, jackets and boots. And so then we have a crib in the back of church and they put them all in there. And so we are blessed. Uh, our congregation has blessed this baby pantry. Uh, we have supplied many moms. We usually have about 100 moms come, and that will mean probably 150 kids. But I'm glad I don't have to diaper all those children. So whenever they get diapers, they also get a package of wipes. Uh, we try and supply baby shampoo and powder and lotion and anything that a baby might use. Um, sometimes we also receive um, books, and we have quite a few right now. Books are, are an item that the kids are starved to have. They're so excited about a new book. So this time we have lots of books, and so they'll all get two books. So I think that toys at Christmas, um, we had a lady who collected all summer toys for these kids. She had 80 toys to hand out at Christmas time. So it was fun to have the kids come down and for the moms to be able to pick out something without their older children along. And then she has a gift to give, you know, whatever she picks out. We also get lots of chocolates, and so, so we at, uh, at Valentine's Day we had chocolate hearts to give to all the moms, so they all get a handful. So right now we also have a lot of milk. Um, we we patronize um, gleaners. Uh, now it's called uh, West Michigan Food Bank, and so we we go there and and they have a lot of milk right now. It's dried milk, and if the moms are in need of more milk for their children, they're welcome to pick some up. Um, we have about eight to ten volunteers and they're very faithful. They're very good workers. Uh, we all have our niche. We all, one likes to do clothes, one likes to do, oh we also give the moms um, laundry detergent and we take detergent and we fill um, bottles and so they get enough for maybe um, I would say four loads of laundry and so that's kind of nice because that's an expense that they don't always have money for. At the Baby Pantry, we have a couple of other agencies, organizations who are supportive of our project here. And one of them is Granville First Reformed Church. They conduct a baby shower on Mother's Day morning, and their parishioners bring in baby items, and the next day they're brought here to our facility to put in stock. And then on May 7, a Friday afternoon, the first graders at Granville Christian School have a baby shower for the food pantry. And they take their packages in hand at the school, which is two blocks away, and they come along the sidewalk on Wilson Avenue here to the church and bring their gifts also to the baby pantry. You can wave, you can, can do wave. whatever you want to do. <laughs> Just so we can get you all in the video part, because I don't know what I'm going to need, but... Why did I get less diapers this month? Yeah. It's, they all get the same dollar value. 
Yeah. So we divide it up. Okay. We don't know. We have um, this. We need to get the liners left. Oh, you like that? Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Enseñale tu, tu libro. Enseñale tu libro. Wow. Look at that. Don't film me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs>